Hi, this is Todd with Land of Math. In this video, we're going to give you the circumference of a circle. And what we're going to do is we're going to show you how you can then find the radius and the diameter of the circle. So we have to kind of reverse engineer this. So we'll have a real basic review of the formula for circumference at the start, and then we'll dive into a few examples. So all that's coming up next on Land of Math. All right, the first thing we're going to look at is the circumference formula. Now we know circumference is the distance around a circle. And so the formula we have to find the circumference is pretty straightforward. To find the circumference, we take pi, which we're going to use 3.14, and we're going to multiply that by the diameter. And the diameter is the distance across a circle going through the center. So we're going to focus on trying to find either the diameter or the radius when we're given the circumference. So here's the example number one. So in this problem right here, we know circumference again is the distance around the circle. And for this particular circle, our circumference is going to be 50.24. And we're going to make this in inches. So the distance around here would be 50.24 inches. Now, we know our formula was to take the 50.24, that's the circumference, and it would equal pi, which is our 3.14, and we would multiply that by whatever our diameter is, but that's what we don't know. So we're going to try to find the diameter and the radius. So what we have here is basically a one-step equation. We would divide both sides by 3.14, or pi, and that's going to give us what the diameter would be. So when we do our division, the right side we're just going to be left with the letter D because the 3.14s will cross each other out. On the left side, we're going to take the 50.24, divide by 3.14, and we get 16. So our diameter would be 16 going across, or in this case, 16 inches. Now, to find the radius is going to be pretty straightforward. The radius is just halfway across the circle. So it's just going to be half the diameter. So half of 16 would be 8, so it would be 8 inches. So there we go. So eight is our radius. All right, example number two. So same thing, again, we're given the circumference, which is 78.5 meters in this example. And we know to find that area or that circumference, which is 78.5, it would be pi 3.14 times our diameter. And so what we're gonna do is exactly like the last one, we're going to divide both sides by 3.14. We're trying to make the 3.14 disappear on the right side. So what's left on the right side is going to be the D for the diameter. So the 3.14s will just cross each other out. And on the left side, we're going to take the 78.5, divide by 3.14, and we get 25. The 25 is the diameter. So since we're talking meters, it would be 25 meters. And then again, just like in example number one, our radius is going to be half that because it's just half the distance across. So you would just take 25, you would divide it by two, and you're going to get 12.5 meters. So that would be the radius. So when we look down at our two answers we're looking for, we already know 25 was the diameter, and 12.5 is the radius. So our last example, example number three, Again, we start where we know the circumference, in this case, 13.816 meters. And that's the distance around. And we know to find that, we just took that number, uh, or the way we got that number was pi times diameter. So just like in the previous two examples, we divide both sides by 3.14. On the right side, we're going to be left with D, because the 3.14 will cancel each other out. And on the left side, we take 13.816 divided by pi, and you get 4.4. So our, our distance across the circle, the diameter, is 4.4 meters. So we'll just put that right down here. So 4.4 meters across. And again, just like in the other ones, our radius is going to be half that amount. So half of 4.4 is 2.2 meters. So that would be our radius. Okay, and again, that's just halfway across. So 4.4 for the diameter, and 2.2 for the radius. So hopefully this video was helpful. If it was, please uh, give it a thumbs up and we'd love it if you subscribe. And until next time, we'll see you on The Land of Math.